Mark? Oh my God, he must be a doer. Dream big, but then also do bigger. And who can pay his rent. If <laughs> that works. <laughs> I'm getting passionate. <laughs> Dating in New York right now is a disaster. It is so incredibly hard. There are more dating apps than there are single guys, I feel like. And when you go on some of these dates, you wish you were anywhere else. I started a business last year called Bridesmaid for Hire. So strangers all around the world hire me to be their bridesmaid, which means I go to weddings more often than the average person. I actually help people walk down the aisle to say I do and feel confident doing so, but yet my dating life is a total disaster. So while it's really cool to help people fall in love and get them down the aisle, you start to think, why, why not me? What's wrong with me? So have you thought about the qualities you'd want in a guy? Yes. What if we made a list? Right now? Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god. Wait, so I have to write on that right now? Oh my god. I'm Jen and I'm looking for my perfect match. What's the age range for the guy? I guess I would say someone 26 to maybe 36. How tall is he? I'm 5'7", and I love to wear heels, so I would say someone who's 5'6", and above. Love facial hair, but no creepy mustaches. Definitely not cocky. That is a deal breaker. But I think they have to love pizza. Passionate about something. Tattoos with meanings, that's a lot of fun, but nothing crazy. I have a few tattoos. Think he should be kind, funny. Emphasis on fun. Sense of humor, I'm funny. I'll take bald or balding. Celebrity lookalike, I love Jake Chillenthal. I think he's a hottie. I've always wanted to go to Montana. If you were a Disney prince. I guess I would say Prince Adam, AKA the beast from Beauty and the Beast, but only once he's turned back into the night sky. I think I would like to be with someone who's really into music. I like all kinds of music. I love live music, I love concerts, but I do not like 90s hip hop. I just don't. I think the ideal guy would have good relations with his family. 100%. I'm sick of the Mr. Right Nows. I've seen so many of them, I've spent so much time with them, but I'm looking for my Mr. Forever. I told you we found your perfect match. Where is he? I, we got it. Is he going to be? <laughs> I'm excited. Let's do it. I'm excited. Yay. I am super nervous and I can't wait to meet him, but I'm also shaking. <laughs> when I first saw him, I thought, wow, he's really attractive. <laughs> I wanted to run away because I was so nervous. Hi. Nice. Yeah. I'm Jen. Peter. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. you. I was so scared walking up to him. That was the hardest part, was just saying hello. And then once I sat down, I was like, okay. Thanks for meeting me. I can do this. I can talk like a human. It's a little awkward. So, were you nervous before this? I was like freaking out. I think, yeah, I didn't sleep that well last night. Me neither. <laughs> like thinking about, oh my God, what am I gonna say? What am I gonna talk about? I never really like thought about what, like, what would be my perfect match. Uh -huh. Even if they found it, I wouldn't even know if that was like the person. Right, right? Like, oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, but like, I'm I don't know. Right. I've been like playing this scenario out in my head I hope for this so isn't long. boring. Yeah. <laughs> I think this went better than how I expected. I kind of expected to be looking around, wondering when it was gonna be over, but um, I think the fact that we had good conversation was better than I could have ever imagined or predicted. Where are you from originally? From Kansas. Hi. What about you? I'm from Florida. Okay, how often do you go back? I try to go back every three or four months. Okay. Yeah, what about That's you? Nice. Do you go home often? Uh, not as much as I would like to. Are you super close with them? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're... We're really close, actually. Every time I go home, we just end up kind of like hanging out and partying together. And really? Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get everyone together to like rent a house somewhere in like New Orleans. Oh, that'd be so cool. 
go with all yeah. like, the underground jazz spots or whatever. Are you into music? Yeah. Yeah, I like I like blues and soul and cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, my dad and I are in a band together. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's awesome. It's pretty serious. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he had a lot of the qualities that I asked for. So I thought that was really interesting, like when he was saying things or talking about stories, I'm like, oh my God, that's like right from my checklist. What are like, what would be like deal breakers for a person for you? Just like rudeness. Yeah, I said and... rudeness too. But it was weird that it could all be in one person. I never imagined that. Yeah, are you a pizza person? Yeah. He wasn't too fond of pizza. I, that was kind yeah. of like a yeah, but I don't really I mean, know. pizza's good, but it's not my favorite. I think it could be okay. Maybe it isn't a deal breaker after all. Maybe. I would say that we're maybe 45% compatible. It was 97. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> that is wild. I think that, you know, he was super attractive and then when we started talking, I didn't feel a lot of energy coming from him. It was really hard to tell if he was into me or even the date. Um, I know I was super excited to be there, so I wanted to feel like a similar energy and I think that might have been what kind of brought down that compatibility percentage and made me rethink what I'm really looking for. So do you think you'll see him again? If he asked me on a second date, I think I would definitely go just because we had a lot in common and we had a lot we wanted to talk about. And I think that it could be really cool to do an activity together. So if he did ask me out again, I would, I would go.